What's going on, guys? What's going on? This is JP with Calm Vibes, and I got to talk about this. Okay, so I was looking at the um, the incident with Tommy Sotomayor and the young chick of the name Shay on the Fresh and Fit, and pretty much it was a disaster. But what gets me is how women are coming to this young lady defense and <laughs> she is playing victim now for assaulting someone else and I gotta give it one of Kevin Samuels you can't make this ish up who does that you assault someone then go back and claim victim and going around on podcasts talking about you were the victim, you were defending yourself and quoting Florida laws. But the crazy thing is, women that defend, not me, sorry, that says she was in the wrong are being attacked. Now, I have to catch this young lady's video. I don't know her. I just seen it the other day, but I had to capture it because she has so much energy. Michi X, I think what she called herself. And she's going off on her, on Tasha K, because Tasha K had her on her show and defending what the young lady did. So, y'all, this is some, this is some shit. So I had to capture that. So I want to get credit to uh, Michi X. Uh, y'all go check her out. I mean, she has a lot of energy. I don't know. I'm going to have to start looking at some of her content a little more. But check her out, Michi X. This uh, shout out to her because I'm using some of her content to show how the women are against, I'm sorry, defending this young lady. Never seen anything like this, man. No, you assault somebody and play victim. But well, that's 2022 now, right? Yeah. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and uh, hit that notification bell, guys. And uh, let's just get this shit popping, man. Let's go on YouTube about this chick and Tommy's situation. So let me tell y'all what I have observed. Sisters, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Y'all might get mad today. And if anybody want to unsubscribe, y'all know I'm always okay with that. Feel free to fucking hit the unsubscribe button, okay? So I see everybody still talking about the Tommy situation in this chick. I see Tasha K hopped on it this morning and z Bag hit me up like, look, is you watching this Tasha K shit? Because I told you I don't really watch her like that. So I go to her video and I go look up what she's talking about and I'm catching the end of the video and it's in the same vein that everybody else is saying. So I just want to say something. Sisters, you really feel like this woman is a victim? The women in my chat, do you feel like this woman is a victim? I'm going to wait for y'all to answer. Because what you don't realize is I am about to give you some informative shit. We are about to talk about black women and their fucking independence and how they want to be down with feminism so much. But then when you do some fuck shit, you always want to cry victim. If you've been watching me long enough, you know this has always been my perspective on how women do this shit. I, it kills me how fucking black women want to scream, I'm independent with these fucking white bitches as a feminist movement. But then as soon as y'all do some fuck shit, you want to cry and now all of a sudden you're the victim. Wait a minute, I thought you was equal to me. I thought you was independent. I thought you was tough. Right? I thought everything was supposed to be so equal our goddamn communities, I get tired of watching channels like Tommy who are always talking shit about black women. But guess what? I get tired of watching motherfuckers like Cynthia G do nothing but talk shit about black men. But y'all ain't got the same smoke for her. Let's let that sink in. Cynthia G go off on black men all the time. That's all her channel is about. She says the craziest shit about black men and about aborting their babies and just all kind of bullshit. Y'all got any smoke for her? Huh, sis? Or did you run off after you said that dumb shit in my comment section? You niggas better stop jumping the gun when Michi come live because you don't know what the fuck I came here to say. Stop trying to tell me what you think I'm about to say or what's informative and what ain't. Y'all ain't got no smoke for Cynthia G and all the women who got so much to say about black men, though. I'm actually tired of the whole conversation together. On either side. But I find it real funny. Let's have that conversation.
Because in our community, we need to be informed that there are way too many sisters who want to be niggas until it's time to be a nigga for real. Then all of a sudden you a girl again. Some people came in my comment section after Tasha K's live today and want to tell me how wrong I am and I'm uninformed and I need to be quiet and I'm wrong because I said that women should keep their hands to themselves. Don't hit men if you don't want to be hit back. That's what I said. And I said she was wrong for doing that. Then I got people who want to come in here and tell me in my comment section, are you serious, Michi? You shouldn't hit people over words when you say all the time you gonna slap, you would slap the shit out of somebody out of your chat if you were next to them. Yeah, that's because y'all say dumb shit and it's a phrase of somebody ought to slap the shit out of you as in slap some sense into you. But I get tired of you motherfuckers acting like you know me. Michi doesn't go around hitting people based off their words. You niggas don't know me. Now, this is the funny part here. She has to explain to people that this isn't right. And they still want to defend this shit. And uh, I'm glad she's holding strong. Like I said... Me personally, I want to see everybody back on a level where we're respecting each other. I don't think the black men getting that respect. Black women don't think they're getting respect. But you can't start by saying it's cool to hit a man or whatever because of words. Who the fuck does that? Because of words, you think you can put your hands on someone? Shit. Look, man, what I say... If I can't put my hands back on your ass going to jail, I'm calling the fucking poor call on you. Fuck that. I'm too old to be still out here fighting. And I like to train to fight. But fuck that. You're going to jail. I'm calling the police on your ass. Call me whatever the fuck you want. You're going to jail. Fuck it. Keep your damn hands to yourself. I can't put hands back on your ass. You better keep your shit together. But let's finish watching this, man. She's live. She's hitting that shit. She's hitting all the points. Fuck it, man. I like this chick. Let's go. Get her, meet you this situation i thought tasha k's show was the most ridiculous show i've ever seen right when it came to the commentary that she gave just like the rest of you niggas running around here is ridiculous as fuck let me tell you something that i'm offended by y'all keep calling this woman a queen so do kwame she's a queen y'all think this girl is a queen really so then what the fuck are the women that don't sell their ass on fucking only fans who don't get flew out with the proposition of $2,500 to fuck a nigga and be on his OnlyFans. So if this is a queen, what the fuck are the rest of us? So now every black woman is a queen just because you black? We have no standard in what a queen is. She a queen? Really? Y'all out here with so much hate for Tommy now. This woman is a queen. Oh, queen, you treat black women this way. Stop treating queens this way. Last time I checked, she don't have queen behavior. Like, let's be real. This girl be on OnlyFans playing with herself for money. She found another dude that do OnlyFans, flew out to his house, with her friend, did no fucking research on who this man was and was there whether she took it or not. Now, this is from her own fucking mouth. She's admitted to these things. She go out there. She don't know nothing about this man. She up in his house and she in there to consider the proposition of being fucked on OnlyFans for $2,500. Let her tell it she wanted $5,000 and her friend took $2,500. We're just going to overlook all that. So when you as a woman put yourself in these positions and you do this thought shit, because I thought that was called being a thought, not being a queen. Man, I guess thought and queen mean the same thing, yes? Do you understand what a cliche is? See, the word in calling a woman a queen used to mean something. Do you understand when you take a word that has value and meaning to it and you oversaturate it and you use it in the wrong way, you make something that had a real meaning to it mean nothing at all. That's called a cliche. Being a queen is a cliche. That shit don't even mean nothing no more because all of a sudden, all you got to do is be born black to be a queen. That's why the title is what the title is. This is some illogical, stupid ass shit for motherfuckers who don't think and don't, they don't want this woman to take no accountability of none of her fucking actions. So since she's such a queen, sis, and she's such a queen to the men who think that, how many of you want your daughters to conduct themselves the way she conducted herself? I'm 
just ready for this big show of hands since, since I'm so wrong and she's so wrong. I mean, she's on a podcast that has been known for disrespecting black women. Now, see, I'm glad she brought that up because uh, that was my thing. Fresh and Fit has been, what, about a month ago, got outed for saying they're not down with the brown. They don't do dark girls. They don't do black girls. Uh, they don't. They ain't with the Sharquishas and what other shit? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, they just talk shit about they don't fuck with black women. Now, with that being said, this is her third time on the show, and if you ever go back and watch that show, you will see that she gave them a pass on the show, and then turned right to Tommy. And start talking shit about what he put on his Instagram. See, all that shit was personal. That's all it was. It was personal. And Michi will bring it up, so I ain't gonna spoil it. But it's all personal. So let's get back to this shit, man. Then she takes her ass on a podcast that has been known for disrespecting black women. That's what they do. Everybody been talking about fresh and fit and how the fuck they down black women and how they do all of this shit, right? She already knew that. But then she goes on there and acts like she didn't put herself in a position to be like this. Somebody said, y'all defending Tommy. No, nigga, we looking at the conversation and looking at how the truth of what it is. It's not about defending Tommy. And see, and that's the thing. That's what everybody problem right there. They are against, I mean, they're defending this girl because they don't like Tommy. And like I tell, um, especially when I talk to women I know that have sons at home. When shit like this come up, I said, so what if that was your son? Would you still feel the same way? Take out who this guy is. If that was your son that she did this to, would you still feel the same way? And how about majority of them would even answer? Hey, look away, mm, but would not answer. Nah, fuck that. And then I got a few like, well, they better, I would jump in. I, she better put my hand on my... Fuck that. You ain't there. Would you allow this to happen to your son? That's how you need to start thinking. If you have boys at home, stop defending bullshit like this. Because it could happen to your son. Dummy. Back to it, man. Just want to get it off my chest. It's about the fact that in black YouTube, everybody is going around and interviewing this bitch like she's a fucking uh, superstar now. After she put her hands on that man and she doesn't have any accountability for nothing she did. Not her hoish acts, not the thing that took her out to Tommy's house, not the fact that she was willing to be paid. Y'all want Tommy to respect this woman when she didn't respect herself. You really want a man to show some respect for a woman who don't respect herself. She put a price on her pussy. She's the victim. See, if you don't carry yourself in a way to get respect, you don't get no fucking respect. But y'all want somebody to give her respect when she don't respect herself. I watched, I watched Tasha K this morning. That was the fucking dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. They had this chick on there like she's a fucking superstar. And Tasha K equated. I saw a bitch come on there that's supposed to be a, 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 a counselor. That deals with abuse. Do you know this bitch came on there and said that Tommy emotionally and verbally abusing her was the same thing as her abusing him. So she's been a part of domestic violence now. Oh, my God. And this bitch is a professional. Could somebody please take her license? They didn't have a long relationship. They knew each other for a couple of weeks, my nigga. What emotional and mental and physical abuse did he do to her? Y'all would do anything to justify that this woman is right. Nobody wants her to take accountability for her actions. I heard um, Tasha K say that any woman that doesn't disagree with Tommy and, and, and feels like this woman was wrong, that we're the type of women that condone domestic violence and that when we be in battered women's shelters, that we, we better not call her. Do y'all hear how ridiculous that sounds? This bitch wasn't battered. She wasn't even hit. So how are we now equating? I want y'all to think about the logic in that. A woman that put her hands on somebody is now the domestic violence victim. See, she never, she never missed a 
moment to capitalize on her 15 minutes of fame. The truth is, is that that woman hitting that man and all of it that has brought her, she wanted this. This is the social media era. She just created some attention for herself and she's loving that shit. I don't see a victim when I see her and I'm going to need you niggas to stop. I'm about to go, but I'm going to say this one more again. If a bitch that sell her pussy online and let niggas fly her out to get fucked and take money and that's the only thing that she got to make a living with in life, if that's what a queen is, then what the fuck are the rest of us? I'm going to leave you with that thought. <laughs> yeah, and that's the funny thing. And I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Before um, that interview with Tasha K ended, old girl took the time out to give everybody her um, IG and all this other stuff, how to reach her and this and this, and her cash app in case y'all want to send her some money because she's a victim. Be dumb and stay dumb. Y'all didn't see that video on the Fresh and Fit. You need to take your ass over there and see it. Because before you get this girl your money, you better check this shit out. Because she is about to be flying all over the place with your fucking money. Well, JP with Calm Vibes. The soldier is out of here. Hey, man, I enjoyed it. Meet your ex. I enjoyed it. Uh, love your energy. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm going to subscribe, shit. I ain't, you know, I got a new channel coming out. This is my new channel. So. Got a new sub here. Take care, everybody. Peace.